Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more vampire survivors. So, I think we are here. I think we are at the very end of our run here with this game. Which is a little bit sad, but at the same time, it is always exciting to get something 100%ed. So, on a part of that, I did end up looking up this secret here, which says, sometimes you just need to ask for help. Now... After a little bit of searching online, it turns out there is no real hint in that. You have to look it up online. And there is a specific order of things that we need to do. Uh, so, if you don't want to hear what that is, don't, uh, don't listen. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, yes, we're going to, we're going to tell you right about now. So, I did say we wanted to go with McCoy, so we'll quickly pick this up. So, what we need to do is we're going to need to type spam in the main menu, spam again in character selection, and then spam in stage selection, and then the moment we get into our level, we must type humbug, and then press enter. So, I'm not sure how you do that on your phone, but thank goodness I'm on a computer. And then that should open up that final character. So, with all of this, I think I think it might be good to go back to where we originally started and go back to the Mad Forest. So we'll have this all selected as we want to do, and we will back on out because now everything should be in the right place. So here we go. Let's let's see if this works. So spam. Oh, whoops. That's not what we wanted. All right. Uh, spam. Oh dear, I did it again. Okay, fine. I forgot that this thing keeps on moving. Alright, so that's spam. And now we go up to start. Alright. Spam. Enter. Uh, spam. Start. And we need to pick a... Uh, pick a weapon. So you know what, let's just go with the beginning and click get and now type in humbug all right so theoretically that's all we needed to do and uh we will see if that works for us if not i will have to reattempt that all right well i don't know what his weapon does so how about we go ahead and we pick up what do we pick up let's pick up the axe we haven't picked up an axe for a while and let's go for a victory sword. Victory swords are always fun. Let's go for... What else could we go for? Let's go for a crown and just to level up insanely. That sounds pretty decent to me. And now we'll see what we need to use to evolve our final combination. Okay, we need the spell book. Alright, so we could take the spell book. And I think we might also pick up... What do we want? Maybe we go for the ashes. Yeah, you know what? We'll go for the ashes. So we'll pick up Tarona's box and the flame of misspell. And then I think we might also go for what else what might we go for? Maybe Maybe the Song of Mana and the Lancet. Yeah, sure. You know what? That sounds like a nice combination. So let's go straight into the crown. We should be fairly strong. And we don't want those, so let us... Yeah, let's re-roll. And we will go for the axe. Now, I do have to remember that the pomerola, the spinach, and a few other things are on the map. So, that is something. Alright, axe again. And what else do we want? We want none of those, so let's... Yep. And let's go for the crown. Alright, well, so far we are very, very tanky. It seems like all of the enemies can't quite uh, lay a hand on us. Well, that's nice. Okay, so, um, hmm. Re roll again. Now, did I see? No. Okay, so we definitely need to pick up Corona's box. We definitely need the Candelabra. 
Yep, all right. So there's just a handful of things. So we know what we're on the lookout for. Speaking of which, let's get that straight away. And we should also go for... Did we say the Silver Wind? Uh, no, I think we said Song of Mana. Uh, let's just double check. We said Song of Mana. So that will be good, because we have the curse already. Oh yes, and the flames. So, the flames and the Song of Mana will be our final two of the land. Right, so let's just go straight for crown. We're not even, we're not even concerned about the damage. And let's go for a reroll. And go for Candelabra. Now I don't think that there's any Arcanas that we particularly need. I think we should be fine. Now we do need the Spellbinder, so we will pick that up. Alright, and uh, yeah, we can just enjoy the easy to kill bats for a little bit. So this is a... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the weapon is meant to be. Um, oh, you know what? Flames of Misspell? Let's pick that up. We do want that. That'll go well with our Arcana. Oh, not our Arcana, our uh, Tyronis box. Oh, does he have really, really short duration? Is, oh no, sorry, that's, um, for a moment I thought we picked up a flaming, a flaming, um, sponge, but it, of course it wasn't, it was just the flames of his spell that I totally forgot about. Alright, well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, and, okay, so as we have leveled them up, the... His uh, weapon, which I cannot figure out how to pronounce, does actually start spinning around all the ticking. So, you know what? That's actually pretty good. Let's go for all the axe yet again. Okay, you know what? We're doing, we're doing rather well. All of this extra spawn, curse, and whatnot has turned pretty uh, much in our favor. So, let's go for the axe. Alright. Now, I did recognize that there's a handful of characters down the very bottom of our of our um, character selection screen that we haven't done a lot. Now, I'm not entirely sure that it's uh, worth playing extra levels for all of them, but if uh, there is one of them that you would like to see, do leave us a comment, and then we can do those as just as a little bit of a bonus to our run. And so if you have a stage that you'd like to see them on, or some specific modifiers, uh, yeah, that, I think that would be a uh, nice way to round things out. So I do think this would technically count as the last episode in the series. However, if you, if you do uh, want to see some extras, I'm sure we can just do them as a bit of a nice filler video here and there, and uh, yeah, I, it would be a, a good idea, because if you do enjoy the series, and you have stuck with me throughout all of these crazy, crazy episodes, and for how long it's been, uh, yeah, I think you deserve it, so if you would like to do that, let me know, if not, uh, we may come back if they ever uh, bring out some more DLCs. Alright, well... So far, so good. I don't even know if we've actually been hurt. Skeletons, have they done any damage? No. Alright, so... As far as new characters are concerned, I really do like this big, bad badger of ours. Yeah, I think that's the first time we've ever actually been hurt. <laughs> Alright, well, let's keep on keeping on and go for more Victory Sword. We're going to become exceptionally powerful. Go for more. And yeah, we can just chew right on through. Alright, let's go for that. Pick this up. Definitely not going to get anything. But that's a okay. We have more than our fair share. Alright, let's go for more Victory Sword. Those axes are already colossal. And you know what? We don't need any of those, so let us say nay. And 
Nay once more. And... Okay. If we pick up the... If we pick up the Song of Mana, we will already have the Curse, so we can pick that up. We only need to wait upon... Yeah, we have a spare space or two, so... Yeah, since we have a spare... Let's go with the Tarum. Tarum is always pretty good, and that's not on the map. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's just double check. We already have... Yes, we have... Oh, hang on. The Bolo doesn't actually have an evolution. Oh, I have... I have solely, uh... Goofed on what we're meant to be doing here. Alright, well, you know what? That's okay. I guess we Instead of this being the final episode, like I thought it was, we will be coming back with at least one more. Well, that does seem a little bit silly, but alright. You know what? I am liking this character though, so that's pretty uh, good, and it means I don't have the pressure of trying to finish everything off all in this one. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have a little bit of fun then. Right, so far, yeah, good grief, these skeletons are so weak. So very weak. Alright, uh, can we go for... What can we go for? And no. Nope. Come on, oh, Song of Mana, hey, there we go. Alright, just in case our area of effect wasn't already as powerful enough as it was, we have now done more. Alright, uh, let's go for Victory Sword. Still want Corona's box. And uh Yeah, that's that's what we can do. So let's just go to victory sword again. And just uh enjoy. You know what? Let's go for the victory sword once again. You now we should probably uh go and collect some of the extra goods. Yeah. And yeah, we're just going for that. I'm not really too concerned about our longevity here, so let's go for more area. Yeah, yeah we're fairly bit touched. I think the only time we've been damaged is when we've run into one of the elite, uh, elite enemies, and almost more or less forced the game to hurt us. Actually, I wonder how much. Armor. Okay, so he's got four armor. And, uh. Yeah, realistically, nothing nothing too bad. Um, or too amazing, to be perfectly honest. But I do like him, so. That's always fun to see. Alright, come on. Give us a Tyrone's box at some point. Ah, yes, the good old plants. They're back again to try and take us down. Now, where is the Prime Mantis that leads them? Oh, okay, we are taking damage now. That's, uh. Definitely a possibility. Oh, I think that was the... Alright, well... Take that. And let's go for the Song of Mana. Alright, so we definitely can get hurt. It's just a little bit harder than previous levels. Uh, but it still should not be... No, we're not, we're not invulnerable. Alright, well... Be good. Let's just pick up these things. Uh, cool down. 0.3 seconds. You know what? That's probably pretty solid. So we'll take that. Yeah, there we are. Come on. Where is Tyrone's box when you want it? Alright, uh, no. Plans for this spell. We'll take that instead. You know what? We should probably keep working towards that. Oh. So we can get hurt, we can definitely get hurt. We are not doing too good on the uh, whole health front. There is a light source we can Give me a chicken. Come on. Nope. Come on. Give me a chicken. Come on. Give me a chicken. Fine. Alright. Be an absolute jerk. That's fine, I guess. We, as long as we can make it through this next little bit with these guys, 
should be strong enough. Um, if I remember correctly, it goes from these plant people back to one of the horde waves, which will definitely be strong enough to kill. So, just a matter of not taking too much damage until then, and letting our passive regeneration do its thing. Oh, there we go. No, no, money. You know, may as well take the... This uh, will take the cloth. Alright, a little bit of gold fever. Not that I'm really too excited about that, but... Okay. Say no free money. Very seldom does that ever happen. Such an offering of free money, so... Let's just uh, take what we can. Now what? We can probably get... Ourselves evolution if we're lucky from this. Do we have the luck on our side? No, we do not. Okay, well. Fine. Be a punk. Right, now we're heading back towards the bats and the skeletons that we can deal with. Spellbinder again. Right, come on. At this rate, we're going to have to start banishing things just so we can, uh. Just so we can have something to. Uh, catch what we actually want. Right, uh, Song of Matter again, let's go for that. Song of Matter again. Here we go. Alright, well, you know what, that's a very solid uh, power increase, so... We'll take those. Now we'll pick up those red gems too. Although we're not really regenerating anything, which is kind of a little bit of a concern. I would have thought, what is it? Recovery, oh, okay. It's only the point five. Yeah, okay, well that's not much at all. Oh well, if we can find ourselves a chicken. Uh, that'll help. Uh, we should go for Song of Mana. And... But we want none of those. Now what, let's go ahead and... Now if we banish them from here, we can probably still pick them up. So what are we waiting on? We're waiting on Torona's box. Torona's box is a definite. That will do two of our weapons and the curse is fine. So you know what? We could actually pick something up here. So since that's the case, uh, let's just go with the stone mask. I don't think that that is on the map at all. So free money. Let's just enjoy that and save wasting any of our rerolls if we want to get an arcana that we just really have a inkling for. Um, let's go, you know what, maybe we go for the duplicator. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's go for the duplicator. We don't need it, but it's nice and easy and certainly works. So let's head on down and uh, grab ourselves that wonderful health regeneration. Because we certainly are going to need it. Come on. Got a fair way to travel. But we seem to be directly over it, so that's always a good sign. Um, come on. All of these enemies just take forever. Give us what we want. Pick that up. And what are we waiting on? We have an evolution with the Death Spiral. We have... Actually, that's the only thing we can evolve. Uh, oh no, and we just wasted it with Torona's box. Oh, botheration. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh. Well, I guess here I was, lost the track of things. So you know what, maybe this will be a little bit quicker than we initially planned. All right, well, since that's the case, we definitely do want to work our way towards evolving things, so. Let's just go right ahead and collect the gold ring. I know it's curse, but if it gets us closest to the infinite corridor while we're waiting upon everything, uh, I can't see why it would be a uh, terrible idea. It allows us to level things up quicker. Okay, uh, okay, maybe, maybe it was a mistake. Okay, I think it could have been a mistake. We're going to move very slowly and very carefully. 
This is the crunch time at 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, we've severely misplayed this. We also miscalculated what we should be playing as and what we should be trying to achieve and evolve. So, that's definitely not the brightest from us. Uh, let's, let's see what we can do, though. Alright, let's be careful. We have had runs like this before that we have somehow managed to, uh, what do we call it, somehow salvage. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, I just don't know if this is going to be that. Alright, if we can keep them above us, we should be able to do a good chunk of damage. Come on, that spiral, that spiral. Hey! Alright, so we're not dying completely weak. Oh, a chicken! I cannot believe we finally found a chicken. Alright, well, that is great for us. So, let's go for... Let's go for the Song of Mana, since we can actually evolve that. And let's go for the Song of Mana again. May as well go for some health. Some damage. More health. Health. Alright, you know what? We may have uh, clutched this from the Jaws of Defeat. Yep, you know what? We are. Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. I hope. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, you know what? Since we're so close, we may as well just pick up the Clover. Clover will hopefully give us some better luck and more chickens and whatnot. Yep, okay, come on. Oh, there's those trees again. Um. Yeah, let's just get that healing up at maximum. Come on. Oh, you know what? That, uh, actually, that fatty boy is kind of uh, worthless to us. And we can't get an evolution for a little while. Man. This is kind of a little bit uh, annoying, really. I really wanted to get all of those evolutions. Ronin's box would have been a nice choice. Ah, uh, well. Alright, Clover's gonna spell. Up we go. And, oh, there's the Clover. I almost forgot that that's what we were here for. Ooh, that. That was, uh. Ooh, chicken. That was almost exceptionally costly. Now, let's just keep on working our way through the boards. And let's just go for the lock. After all, they can't evolve to anything. Let's go. Oh, let's go for more curse. We can do the curse. I know we can be taken out fairly quickly with a few things, but at the end of the day, we have so much. Ooh, brief. Okay, this is. Let's just pick up. Oh wow. All right, fine. Random always. Let's just let's just go. Uh, embrace the chaos. There is a lot of it. Alright. Oh, uh, tombstones. They're not a good thing to bump into. Alright. If we can make our way to the... What do we need? If we can get our way to the skull, we can at least evolve the Song of Mana. So that would be helpful. And then if we can get the Silver Ring, we can get the Infra Corridor. Yeah, you know, I don't know if we have a uh, successful run here. Oh, there's an Arcana. Definitely want to pick up the Arcana. Come on. Come. How long has that been on the screen for? Well, uh... Oh, is that it? No. Alright, well, how far away is it? Oh my goodness, it's that far. Um... Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it, and we will just take the mad roof. We'll do what we can to try and force that. Otherwise, we are never going to be able to go and collect everything. Not in a reasonably timely manner. Alright, uh, keep on keeping on. Where did it go? Alright, just down. Eat the left, okay. There we go. Alright, awake, could be good, out of bounds, no blue, awesome pet, found, no thank you very much. 
Artifact, Treasure Princess, and nope. Come on. Divine Vault. Ah. Um. Hmm. You know what? I think this could be our best bet. We do have the Song of Mana and the Victory Sword, so we have a chance, at the very least, of gaining extra health. So, pop our max HP. I think that's all that we can really uh, go for. You know, we'll also get that with this left class of the Crimson Shroud, as well as the uh, black half, which is sitting up in the top, so it's not necessarily a lost cause, it's just a much harder cause than it had to be. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. Come on, boy. Off we go. Okay, we're getting the big bats again. That's never a good sign. Okay. Well, the thing is, though, too, we do have the. Oh. We do have the curse kind of maxed out, so. All things considered, we're probably pretty uh, strong if we're just able to run through them like this. Alright, okay, well, we're still gonna add more curse onto the mix. Oh, there's a chest. We probably wanna pick that up. Come on. Don't want that left behind. Thank you very much. Yep. Let's go. Up we go. Be careful not to run into the Atlantean. Alright. You know, looking at the character, he kind of reminds me of like a uh, badger who's going off to the beach. Got kind of the loose fitting shirt over his uh, back. And then. Just kind of like swung his tail over and he's just getting ready to run over the hot hot sand. Yep, I definitely think that this is a beach badger. Alright. Really, that's what's going through my mind anyway. That's that's my head cat. Don't know how legitimate it is, but I'm a fan. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's keep on going for the curse. I really want this, come on. Up we go. Up. And presto. Pick up the chicky doo. And let's head our way over towards the silver wreck. You know, we might actually be able to level up enough to get the infinite corridor without too much trouble. Yeah, I don't think it's actually going to cause us too much pain at all. The early curse has actually not hurt us that much. Because we have uh, enough damage output. Probably not the safest way to go, but hey, it, uh, it's not necessarily that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we're taking damage. We, oh dear, we not, not, we may not make it. And here I was about to say that we have successfully brought ourselves back from a very uh, early grave. Well, we're not necessarily dead, but we're not doing as well as we could be. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Drop that. And there we go. Well, that is unfortunate. We do have a revive. So, let's do that. Hey! Okay, well, you know what? The menagerie is nice, but having two more levels of curse, that's. 20%, that's not exactly good for us. Uh, yeah, I don't think it really matters as long as we're not doing the skull. That's what I'm going for. Uh oh, it's getting closer. Uh, do we banish? No, no. We're all in. We're all in. If we die, we die. Alright, pick that up too. Hey, even more stuff, that's nice, and an infinite corridor, well, I think that's the quickest infinite corridor turnaround that we've ever had. Ooh, an egg. Ah, bother. That was, I was just a little unfortunate in my route. Okay. Okay, so we still did have an achievement for McCoy. Okay, so that was definitely a thing. Okay, here I was thinking that I completely goofed. 
what is that that is a finale actually it's just eight damage affected by the difference between curse and luck okay so that ignores amount duration and speed so damage affected by the differences between curse and luck so i guess the the bigger the spread the more damage it does you know what? that's actually uh fairly powerful all right so now all that we need to do is evolve the millie ball blue what is that one we all right let's have a look there's still another couple of weapons so i'm guessing that that is whatever this is um millie ball blue yeah so if we look at our characters, do any of them have a... Ah, there we are. Gavit Oni. Alright, well, I guess he will be our final run in the next episode as our, as our finale to everything else. Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do. And then if you let me know and want to do a bonus run with maybe our menu or... How much is that? 260,000 grief. Or 26,000. Yeah, if you want to see these final characters, I'll try and unlock them at the end of the last of the next episode. But otherwise, I think we are we are out of things. And I see that our secret did not work, so I'll try that again going into the next one. Alright, well, thank you for sticking with me uh, throughout this. So until the next one, thank you for tuning into the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.